Time now for Medical Rounds. The holiday season is a time for a lot of families and friends to connect and spend time together. Of course, this year it'll be a little bit different, but it always can be a stressful time as well. Patty O'Brien, a certified dementia practitioner at Hartford Healthcare Center for Healthy Aging, is now joining us to talk about the impact that the kind of stress has on people who are suffering from dementia. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, the holidays are certainly stressful for everyone. So specifically, what impact is there for those who have dementia? So many of our folks who, who are living with dementia certainly have uh, periods of confusion, un, uh, unaware of what time of year it is, unaware of what needs to be done. And as they start looking around and watching their family members get stressed out about baking, wrapping, um, shopping, um, dementia it just adds to that stress. And the person with dementia still feels a lot of emotion. Um, so if we have a lot of emotion in the in the home because of the holidays, the person with dementia can become overwhelmed a great deal with it. So what are some creative ways to celebrate, especially now during the pandemic? Yeah, so we are looking at modifying holidays. And, and one of the easiest ways to modify is having your celebrations a little bit earlier. Uh, for folks with dementia, as the day goes on, they can get tired, they can become overwhelmed. And, you know, as, as we get later in the day, four or five, six o'clock, those individuals really struggle with a good conversation or following a conversation, and they may start to get a little anxious. So having those big dinners or big celebrations at 11 o'clock in the morning for a brunch or uh, one o'clock for a nice meal. Yeah, can be better for the kids too who can melt down at that hour. <laughs> so sometimes, exactly. communi sometimes communication can really break down. Do you have some tips on avoiding conflict? Yeah, so, uh, you know, we tell our families all the time, um, if you're going to visit a, someone with dementia, you really want to call beforehand and say, is this a good day? You know, when is a good time? When, when is your loved one with dementia at their best? And a lot of times that's between 10 and 3. Uh, before that, they need to get up during the day for the day and really get grounded. And as, as we said, later on in the day, it just becomes really hard. The other thing is watch for nonverbal expression. You know, their facial expressions, their body language are going to tell you a lot how they're feeling. Mm. And we need to watch that. And you have an upcoming class. It's a virtual session for December 16th from 6 to 7 p.m. Tell us about that. Yeah, so next week, December 16th, 6 to 7, we're going to be talking more about tips on making the holidays a little more successful for our folks with dementia. Uh, and, you know, you can go to hartfordhealthcare.org slash virtual classes uh, and sign up and join us. Patty O'Brien, thank you so much for being with us and sharing some important information. Thank you. Once again, to learn more, you can visit hartfordhealthcare.org slash virtual classes or call 855-HHC-HERE. That's all on your screen right now. The conversation also continues on Hartford HealthCare's Facebook page at 1230. Patty will be there to talk about tips and tricks to maximize the holidays with your loved ones. And you can ask your questions on the Facebook Live.